I'm the Red Monk. And one thing that we all know about PETA is the sheer balls that they have. The sheer testicles that they have to say some of the shit that PETA says. I, I don't know how much shit they have to ignore for them to defile cultural significant figures like Groundhog Day. As a, as a Pennsylvania resident, I'll tell you one thing. Groundhog Day is like one of our keystone to our culture, right? We are a very cultured state. We have so much fucking culture. And uh, Groundhog Day, February 2nd. Now, if you don't know who uh, Groundhog, what Groundhog Day is, you are very, you are incredibly uncultured. You are incredibly uncultured. And what it is, is uh, on February 2nd, every year, uh, some dudes in tuxedos pick up a large rat. And then it looks, and if it, like, sees something, it predicts the weather or some shit. That's fucking culture. And it's like a, it's a huge fucking holiday. Like, thousands of people show up to watch these people pick up the rat and see where it looks. So, what is happening, what is happening this year, uh, we have our favorite uh, progressive. Now, I'm all about, I don't think we should, you know, abuse animals. I think that is bad. But... I think it is worth uh, abusing a rat for the sheer cultural gain of Groundhog Day of February 2nd. And what PETA wants to do is they want to defile our culture. And what they want to do is they want to replace our Groundhog. They want to replace Punxsutawney Phil with freaking Skynet, with freaking AI. They want to replace our favorite enlarged rat with Skynet. So, <laughs> so here's what they say. They say, by creating an AI fill, you could keep Punxsutawney at the center of Groundhog Day, but in a much more progressive way, she wrote. Talk about taking your town's annual tradition in a fresh and in an innovative direction. What the fuck? <laughs> like, how the fuck are you going to replace our favorite rat with fucking Skynet? Like, thousands upon thousands of people ail to this, uh, Pennsylvania town in the middle of bumfuck nowhere to watch these people pick up the rat and see where it looks and that predicts the weather. That is incredibly culturally significant in the nerve. I, I kind of I envy PETA for the sheer testicles that they have. The sheer, the sheer nuts they have. That sheer nerve to say that kind of bullshit. Now, I will tell you how important uh, Punxsutawney is to our culture as Pennsylvanians. Phil is no ordinary groundhog. To start, there's his age. The average groundhog lives for four to six years. But Dealey insists that Phil is 134 years old. It's the result of the mysterious elixir the groundhog drinks every summer, each gulp of which extends his lifespan by seven years. <laughs> the post was unable to Id identify if uh, Phil's age or the existence of the said Alexa. Right? They want to fuck with immortality. This is what they want to fucking do. So I uh, definitely do not support this. I definitely think that they should shun the freaking uh, PETA trying to shit. We're, we're being defensive, right? PETA is coming to our culture. It's coming to our... Uh, like, best day of the fucking year. Like, fuck Christmas, man. But, um... Being in close proximity to the public causes these animals great stress. New work says in the letter, When Phil is dragged out of his hole and held up to flashing lights and crowds, he has no idea what's happening. He pretty much has, like, no fucking idea what's happening 24-7 because he's a fucking rodent. You know, I think... It gives, he may not understand it, but he has life has so much meaning. That rat has such an important purpose. And to solly that, even if the rodent doesn't understand shit, doesn't change the fact of the sheer importance of this holiday. It doesn't change shit. Just because the rat doesn't know how important it is, doesn't make it any less important, right? You know, if it's immoral, to wake people up 
That's fucking weird. <laughs> this is the sheer uh, disconnect uh, PETA has with any thing at all. This is the kind of shit that they say. This is the kind of shit that they promote. This is the kind of shit they say. They say, today's young people are born into a world of terabytes. <laughs> and to them, watching a nocturnal rodent being pulled from a fake hole isn't even worthy of a text message. <laughs> Root Network 70. I think 70 is his fucking age. Because anyone below the age of like, uh, like, 40 shouldn't be saying shit like this. This is such a, <laughs> this is such a boomer fucking thing to say, like, <laughs> Are born into a world of terabytes? What the fuck? <laughs> Watching a nocturnal rodent being pulled from a fake hole isn't even worth the text. <laughs> this is a generation whose members book rides on their smartphones and will never walk into a bank to deposit a check. Well, now, the question is, what the fuck does this have to do with anything? This is fucking culture. I don't care if you haven't, you know, gotten into the pattern, haven't fully accepted it yet, you will eventually accept culture. I mean, this fucking rodent has been alive for 134 fucking years. She's been fucking chugging that fucking booze every fucking summer. And I'll tell you that, uh... He's been appreciated for 134 years. Just because some fucking boomer who fucking works at Peter, who's paid probably paid to say to spout this bullshit says that we were born into a world of terabytes and our uh money transactions aren't even important <laughs> tracy reeman said this tracy reeman uh, a mouth said this i think they they were serious they could have been joking they said peter's executive vice president this is like the fucking top brass said gentle vulnerable groundhogs are not barometers <laughs> that's their fuck that's like their fucking leader that's like the vice president <laughs> so apparently rats are not barometers thank fuck there has to be something that's bringing people to this community year after year yeely said i never had to talk to a kid or see their mother say that groundhog is terrible. So, uh, I got this from a website. I'm gonna, I'm not even gonna say its name. I'm not gonna put it in the, the description. So I like to honor my sources for their information. But, uh, this was, all the quotes here are quotes from people. So... What I'm going to do is I uh, will put up a picture, but do not I do not recommend this website because they made me disable ad block to even get on the website, and there were seven ads in the course of this article, and my computer like kicked up humming because it was probably fucking mining for bitcoins. So can't, don't recommend that website. Like I don't care if you're watching with ad block. Like you you should get ad block, right? I pay a fucking dollar a month to donate to ad block. Because I support it that much. But, uh... Thank you for watching. Uh, I recommend uh, writing to PETA and tell them how incredibly uncultured they are. And how incredibly absurd it is that picking up a rat, picking up a fucking rat, is animal infringement. <laughs>